Let's talk about the episode. Let's talk about the episode. So, let's talk about it, shall we? I mean, you got fights at the end. You got friends that's supposed to be friends. But one friend fight and the other friend, they are turning out present at this party. You, mm, street fighter, you got to learn when to hold them and you got to know when to fold them. This was the wrong time to throw them cards on out and play them cards at your own event with your own attorney present. Like, Sierra, Sierra, this is why I call you Street Fighter. And this is why your fighting and your Street Fighter getting you in trouble now. Before we get to there, let's get to Carly. Carly. I don't care about what Rashida say. I don't care what none of your friends say, especially Rashida. Get your divorce from that man. You want to know that man a year and you married that man in Vegas. Get your divorce. After Alexis and what she told you on the scene part of it, thanks to my DVR, but I seen the clip of that moment and I saw the where well, I saw the clip of that scene. So I kind of know what they was talking about. And they was able to talk, come at a little peaceful stance, able to, you know, get along just to get along like they all do on this show or whatever. So I'm gonna go ahead and say this. Carly, this man stressing you out, this man making you not eat, sleep, not doing the stuff you like doing, this man is stressing you out to limb to limb, it's time to leave him. Do not let Rashida talk you into not getting this divorce. You need this divorce. Because like I said, if he put the gun on um, Alexis Sky, you can only imagine what had happened to you. Or he put the gun on you. I think it was Alexis Sky said he put the gun out on him. I think I remember seeing that or hearing that. But yeah, you need to go ahead and get that divorce. Don't let Rashida bamboozle you and let you um stay with this man and he didn't cheat it on you. And the next thing, the next thing that's going to pop up, he's going to be popping you outside your head. You don't need that. Get out while you still breathing. Get your divorce. If he try to play around, try to belong the vote, try to belong the divorce, like um trick daddy doing joy. Go ahead and use your money that you got and your finance and your finances you got. Go ahead and get your divorce, boo. Go ahead and get that divorce. You need to get far away as possible from this man that you on and on for a year, but you married him. Um, you can tell you was either embarrassed by him, you was either rushing it, or I don't know what the other excuse is, but yeah, you can tell that a year and then the next year you're going to marry him. And this whole time I was wondering, why are you still staying with this man? He threatening you. He giving you mental abuse. Um, he put the gun out on Alexis Sky. This man then um, threatened her. Um, I, looked like you scared for your life. Anyways, when y'all was in that um, counseling session with, with uh, counseling session with Dr. Jeff, you looked like you were scared for your life on pins and needles. That man got angry and upset. You was about to throw up all over yourself and about to pass out. We all remember that counseling session that y'all had and how scared you was. You were scared to speak your mind, to speak, to speak your mind in that counseling session. Get away from that man. Because I was looking at that and I was looking at Rashida saying, are you sure this is what you want to do? Are you absolutely sure and positive you want to get a divorce from this man? Like, and then after you, uh, and then after you said, he been cheating on me. Look, I got the text here to prove it. He was cheating on me. This woman went all the way through my house or his house taking pictures of every part of the house, showing me that she, him, they was having sex, and Rashida gonna turn around and go at you. Well, are you sure you want to do this? Are you sure? Because me and Kurt done been through a lot, but if you love this man, you are sticking out and hang on. Um, Rashida, 
Everybody not Wonder Woman like you. Everybody ain't in, in for it for a check and exploit their whole marriage with no check. You've been exploiting your 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 marriage for this um since season one of this show or when we or when Mona decided to um expose Kurt for the cheating fraud he is. You've been with this man and this man been playing you, playing with other people, pretending like y'all had a, well, pretending like he had a fake baby with somebody else, and we all know by now that baby Jasmine is Karen, pretending like it's your baby, is not your baby, well, Kirk baby. So yeah, I, and, and like I could have went through that screen and slapped Rashida like everybody not you. Just cause you love Kerr, you would have been through the ringer with that man every season after season after season. He cheating on you. He having sex with everybody. He not giving you no time. Um, like everybody and none of you, Rashida. Like it's okay to cheat maybe once, maybe I, I get her once or twice. But that third time, you a goddamn fool, and you need to get out while the kicking is good. And Rashida, the fact that you was telling that woman, are you sure? Are you sure you want to get in? Are you sure? You sure you want to do this? Heck yeah, I'm sure I want to do this. This man cheating on me. This man um, threatening me. I'm stressed out. I can't do the stuff I love. I'm, I can't eat. I can't sleep. I'm not doing the stuff I normally love to do. Yes, I want the divorce. You the only one sitting around while Kurt then cheated on you and now you right here celebrating your 20th anniversary like you didn't have 18, 19, 20 years of hell with Kurt. Yeah, she want out that mess. Why shouldn't she get out that mess? Like, I don't get a Rashida. Like, you could have kept that to yourself. Like, Rashida, you got to take an L on that one. Like, you can't tell somebody that's been cheating on what they do. Like, at this point, you should have just kept your mouth shut. Like, the fact that you're going to ask her, are you sure? Are you sure this is what you want to do? Are you sure you want to get the divorce? You know you can make this work right, um, Rashida, babe. Everybody ain't none of you, and everybody ain't one the woman that sit there and let that man cheat on them, and you for to sit there and take it, you threaten the voice, you separate yourself from him, but you come back before the season end, and now y'all are happy, and then it's 20 years in, and you celebrating this mess like it's a party, like y'all had a luck, like y'all they had 19 years of good luck, and 19 years of him not cheating on you, like Rashida, like... It took me everything. It took everything in me not to get, not to get on this video and drag you, for real, for real. Like I can't believe you actually let them words come out your mouth asking this woman, "Do she really want to get a divorce? Are you sure about this? Why not?" Um, are you sure? Are you absolutely positive? Like, I can't believe you actually said that. And like, mm, but I am grateful, though, that you was there to help Carly in her time of leave, getting herself set up for her divorce, getting herself ready for it, because I'm pretty sure it's going to be, you know, the day of her and Wheels is going to be there, or double hockey sticks. On, on earth for her, so I'm glad you was there to help her out in her time of need. Now that we done with that part of Carly, let's go ahead and get to Street Fighter Car uh, Street Fighter um Sierra. Sierra You already got yourself in a situation that you said you didn't do. Tell me why you will let Mona Scott set you up like this for the ultimate fail. Now, I'm going to give Carly a benefit of a doubt, even though she was probably born and raised in Atlanta, or she should know the ins and out of Atlanta and know how to avoid, you know, all traffic or whatever. For the most part, I can say she tried, but she failed. She act like she was a tourist in Atlanta and didn't know anything about Atlanta. I'm pretty sure as Carly wanted to be there to your court date, she would have made it there. Carly didn't want to come there, like you said, and I believe it. This is why I believe you on this part, Sierra. You're not going to tell me that you've been living in Atlanta all these years. You ain't going to know your way around a courtroom. You done seen court before in your life. Everybody done been to court one time in their life. 
Everybody know how to get in contact with somebody. Everybody know how. When you walk into the courtroom, they go to um clerk, the clerk or clerk, the clerk or court, clerk or courts place or the information center where you walk in and ask them. As you're going up to your floor, there are people there, the officers or whoever, they will tell you, um, is this the room Sierra in or whatever her last name is, like Carly, if you really want to be in that woman courtroom, you would have had your behind them. I don't believe for one second you were you acting like traffic was heavy. Then on top of it, what made it more obvious and more suspicious to me that besides driving your own behind the court to her court case to help this girl out in her time of need, you decide to take an Uber I guess a friend of the family, somebody you knew didn't know what the hell they was doing, and you used that as an excuse on why you didn't come. Because you said when you first got there, courtroom D. Then you told Sierra at her event, oh, you told me courtroom five, I was going up and down the stairs, up and down the elevator, waiting at the door, waiting for court to start, it never started. Then somebody else told me it was 3D. Okay, Carly, so you finally got the right courtroom. Why it took you so long to finally get this courtroom? Like, if you want to be there, you would have made sure, even if she did give you the right wrong information, don't, that's what the people in the courtroom there to help you out, to make sure you don't be in that situation that you got stuck in. So I ain't believing none of that. What she said, I'm believing it. Even though I'm not on street fighter side, I believe her. You didn't want to be there. You want to be like Shooter. And we ain't going to get on. We, we going to talk about Shooter in the morning. You want to do a Shooter. You want to be there to support her. But you didn't want to testify. Because you probably know it probably, um, what's the legal word for it? Um, not slander. Uh, you don't want to purge yourself, or uh, um, per yeah, perjury yourself, and end up getting yourself locked up, lying on stand for this woman. It's one of the two things, Carly, because you're not gonna tell me all them years you didn't live in Atlanta. Ain't nothing changed. Everybody know when you go to court. Everybody know the routine. As soon as you walk into the courtroom doors, there's somebody there to help you. Matter of fact, how I was set up down here, as soon as you walk in the door, you going through the uh, metal detector, and you hand them the paper, especially when you going for jury duty, you hand them the paper, they tell you second floor, third floor, fifth floor, whatever floor. While you was going through the metal detector, you didn't have enough common sense to ask the man, um, yes, um, Sierra, whatever her last name, got a court case going on. Could you tell me what floor it is? If he didn't know, I'm pretty sure he could have pointed you in the right direction to tell you where to go at and to tell you where this court, where this court proceeding, proceedings will happen then. You didn't want to go to that court girl courtroom. Okay? Let, let's be serious, Carly. You did not want to go. You did not want to go, and I could, I could, I can kind of understand you because Sierra is a walking co contradiction herself and she full of lies and BS herself just like she was fighting in front of her attorney at her party when she should have been keeping it cool and Sierra you want to love the hip hop fighting guess what's going to be played in your court case guess what's going to be played remember that little clip that we just mm -hmm. they going to use that against you dummy like, you got to be one of the silliest people in this world. I can't believe you came on this show still fighting the same thing that you going to get in trouble, the same thing that you in trouble for, whether you touch the girl or not. Why would you come on this season still fighting? Why would you set yourself up like that? Do you not know they're going to use that against you and probably up uh, and probably every other clip they got of you from this show against you to say that you got anger issues, you are loose cannon, you love to fight, this is hard taking this woman for no reason. Do you know they're going to use this against you, silly? So why are you on this show fighting? And you could have just accepted that as she was accepted as she said it. 
I didn't want to come like you assumed. She didn't want to come in a way. She told you she wanted to be there. The woman didn't want to perjure herself and get herself arrested for lying for you. Like, it's just plain and simple. Like, I just don't get it, Sierra. And the fact that you did that in front of your attorney at your party, that shows us just how foolish you really are. And that shows you just how nutty you really are. Fighting in front of your attorney. Don't be surprised and shocked if your court case turned into a Love and Hip Hop episode or uh, many clips of you fighting. Because there's plenty um clips of you from this show fighting. So don't be surprised or shocked if a clip come up or a mini clips come up on your court day showing that you are lo showing that you are loose cannon and you love to fight. Like you, like you a street fighter or something. So, I, and you and Carly ain't friends in a way. That's another thing I want to touch on. You and Carly ain't really friends. Because like Carly said, you weren't there for her when she needed you. You barely know her like that. Y'all ain't really friends. Y'all just friends just to be on this show. Really, that's what y'all are. Y'all ain't really friend friends like that in a way. So, I don't know why you was expecting her to perjure herself like that, but... Okay, and you talking about Carly and why she didn't want to be there. You said Bambi was your friend, Karad. Okay, then why Bambi wasn't there? We saw Bambi at the party trying to calm you down, but we didn't see Bambi in that court case. I didn't see her in that court case. I ain't see her in that court case. So where was Bambi at? Your best friend. I ain't see her pop up nowhere. I ain't see her there the whole time. So I'm confused. You said Bambi your girl, but yet I haven't seen her. And matter of fact, she wasn't never she wasn't there to that court case. So help me understand. If Bambi your friend like that, your friend supposed to be there to help you out when you need her. Apparently she's not your friend as you think she's your friend. Cause she would have been there regardless of the situation. Now let's get to you, Shooter. Shooter. You another lost cause, buddy. Like for real, for real. Why did you even bother showing up to that woman court case just to sit outside and, and wish this girl good luck? Like for real, for real. Why did you waste your gas? Why did you waste your outfit? Why did you waste all that just to come to this woman court case and sit outside talking about some you wishing her good luck? Like really? That's what we doing now, shooter. We ain't, we ain't gonna come and snitch, but we gonna show up and show her a little bit of support, but we ain't gonna show up. No, we ain't going inside. Like, Shooter, you always have been very messy, and I'm not surprised to Shaw. I would have just read, like Sierra said, I would have read that you stayed home. If you're not here to help me, why are you here to my court case? Like, that was so dumb of you just to show up, just to say, I'm gonna sit outside. That's all I'm gonna do. I'm gonna sit outside. I ain't going in. I just sit here. Like, really? That's what we doing now? We doing that now, Shooter? Like, for real, for real? You wasted that gas for nothing at all. You wasted that gas in that time for nothing at all because you want to come and wish her support. Like, you is a mess. Like, really, Shooter? Like, you need to be kicked in the head for that one. Like, for real, you do. That was a whole waste of time, waste of gas, waste of outfit, but I guess you had to film, so you chose to film that, so I guess. Um, I'm glad Mama D doing better, and she fine, and I'm glad that uh, she had her surgery. She survived it, and she said, um, and she said that, um, um, Ernest working on her nerves or whatever, so... Um, that was funny, and to see her and Ernest interact like they doing, like they doing, and um, they interact like they was doing. So that was funny to see and nice to see. Um, what else happened besides Ernest? Oh, we met somebody else. We met White Keisha, or light skinned Keisha, and. Coco, Vargo, Vargo, 
coke on. We met them. She seemed cool or whatever. I have to see her a little bit more to see if I like her or whatever. See one or two more scenes of her or whatever to see if she cool. But I like her for the most part, her and Coco. The man she didn't like, but she ended up falling in love with him. We'll have to see how she act um, going on with, with the season. Um, but she do got beef with Bambi. I'm gonna leave that one alone. She do got beef with Bambi. That, mm, that's all I'm gonna say about that. She got beef with Bambi. It's some dumb beef, but I guess she got to stick get it right away to get on this show, and that's her way, I guess, by arguing with um Bambi. And Jock, you was messy as I don't know what, getting yourself, calling yourself an Uber driver just to drive Scrappy around and ask him about Coco and um and light skin Keisha. And you wanted the details and Scrappy must have told you what happened and how he don't mess with them no more. Basically it's on that cordial on his end why he don't deal with them but you always know it's always some stories it's always day story her story and then the truth so we'll get the end of that somehow whatever though but we all like to see but anyways though y'all that was the episode don't forget to like share comment and subscribe i'll see y'all later enjoy the rest of y'all night bye